Hello, watching English news at 4. First, let's see what we've got in the headlines. Health Minister L. Jane Kumar exhorts on fulfilling responsibility towards one's profession, but not just to think of salary. And six persons arrested in Tharoi Cham lynching case, condemnations continue to pour in against the incident. Proceeding with the news in detail. Health Minister L. Jantakumar exhorted on fulfilling responsibility towards one's profession but not just to think of salary. Minister was speaking on the occasion of a school health camp and portion abhiyan held at Kaisamthong High School that was organized by Directorate of Ayush and National Ayush Mission. Director of Ayush Dr. A. Guneshwar, Additional Director Dr. Y. Lukoi, Principal of Kaisamthong High School L. Sobita, also attended the program among others. Minister urges people to do away with the habit of working for self-gain. Portion of Beyond is among different social welfare schemes taken up by the government. The mission was initiated with an aim to keep children healthy while they are in school. <laughs> Madhuk Mauta Health and the Wellness Center at Naharani. And the Health and the Wellness Center is going to have a dog. Hachang Phane Thamba. And the Gattan Nata Vada Hachang Phavada Nata Na Mong Marin Taana Nungai Yai Phana Tangtu Taana Hingba Madhuk Wellness Center is going to have a dog. Hachang Phavada Masum Tangtu Taana Mong Taana Hingba Makhil Ki Punchi Kui Hingdo Madhuk Ki Punchi Madhuk Muni Akwe Na Bharat Ki Sambedanda Right to life has the constitution of India, Article 14, and you can always say that you have the right to live, guaranteed right to live. Every citizen of India has the right to life, and you can say that you have the right to live, life, health and wellness. You can say that you have the right to live, you can say that you have the right to live. Condemnations continued to pour in against the mob lynching incident of an alleged vehicle lifter that occurred on September 13 at Taroicham Awang Lekai under Patsui Police Station. Authority has also been lambasted for not being able to control mob justice in the state despite many assurances. Meanwhile, six persons, including owner of the vehicle, allegedly attempted to steal by the deceased have been arrested by the police. Beating up of a person told that is against the law. Those involved persons should be booked. On the other hand, police have arrested six persons, including the owner of the house, in connection with the incident. A public meeting was held at Tharajam Awang Lekai on the unfolding developments. Besides, a JC against the arrest of innocent people of Tharajam has been formed. Convener of the JC, Famdom Tomcho, announced the decision taken during the meeting. The two absconding persons should be arrested and booked by the authority Concerned, government must not protect thieves. Blame should not come on innocent residents who tried to catch the thieves, and six persons, including the owner of the house, should be released without any condition. He cautioned of launching various forms of agitation along with different civil society organizations if their demands are not fulfilled. <laughs> Ini adalah koi pungkun mari kita menunggu dah koi ki asyik pali bal lengan na koi ini si thau kikat ini adu ga lengan huran babu kan setuju thambi kanu miao ki yang napa orang napa huran babu kan bah huran babu si lekai ki miao sing maran si bayar roy maran lek taba lekai ki miao sing amasung jumbu condition amata jauh dana atau bawa tanda thau kita bani thau kita bawa tarak di makan makan ke agi koi ki institusi ke amat senggal koi ay. 
as part of the agitation launched by EMSU demanding arrest of those involved in the assault of its general secretary at Nungba Market CC Higher Secondary School today took out a procession towards the chief minister's bungalow. Confrontation occurred between the students and police personnel when they were blocked near veterinary office St. Jenthong. Police pushed back the students at CC Higher Secondary School campus. However, students pelted stones to the police personnel from the school campus. Police fired two rounds of tear gas shells to disperse the students. Five-day workshop on experiential learning on Gandhi's Nai Talim began at the multi-purpose hall of SCERT Lumfell. The workshop is being jointly organized by SCERT and Mahatma Gandhi National Council of Rural Education, Government of India. Secretary of SCERT M. Yai School, Principal Secretary L. Kolia, Director M. Mina Kumari and Program Coordinator of NGNCRE Sai Kiran graced the inaugural. Speaking on the occasion, Secretary of SCERT M. Yai School said, Teaching only what is written in the book will not help in molding young minds but inculcating culture discipline and logical thinking will definitely be needed we reba satra satri si karmaina hotu hanani mang the pani ba satra satri si sina karam na bawa da khani ni basi he na khana na ba shamana na khana na ba tami ba khara tu gyan ta na ta na na ba khana na ba hai ba nesim basi kara ti ba lambi da yum da oza singa satra singa una ba da to na ti na ba da pao ri ba kai no ga hai basi sap sara tami ba madu dani NGO KAM's worker fell from the vehicle and died due to the deplorable condition of road leading to Lumding Solid Waste Treatment Plant. The incident happened yesterday afternoon. The deceased worker has been identified as Sagosem Imocha alias Mokul 45, son of S. Samu of Yai School Chingakam Lairag. A team of counsellor led by sanitary and health chairperson of IMC, M. Joy, inspected the pathetic condition of the road where a worker of NGO KAMs died that deals in transportation of solid waste from Imphal City. The road is found dangerous for the solid waste transporters. The main reason for the bad shape of the road is due to the plying of private water suppliers. At least 80 to 100 solid waste transporters Transporters are functioning for Lumbing Solid Waste Treatment Plant on a daily basis. A vehicle carries around 1 to 5 metric tons of waste in a day. Sanitary and Health Chairperson of IMC, M. Joy, appeals to the Labor Department to extend compensation for the deceased since the worker died while on duty yesterday. Solid waste transporters of NGOs that deals in transporting waste from infocity are in a condition to stop its service due to the deteriorating condition of the road. He appeals to the authority concerned to repair the road at the earliest and help the transporters in rendering their services to develop infocity as smart city. Yamishavan <laughs> 
mangun da magi duty matam de legi da ni na aduna mate ngwang bu ya ba kidang pang bi na ba kamen gi sat so apil to jeri all types of passenger vehicles except auto rickshaws have been allowed to park at ISBT from today. District Transport Office Info West T. H. Dinachandra inspected the parking. T. H. Dinachandra said passenger vehicles including interstate buses will be allowed to park at ISBT and take turns to leave for their destinations. If vehicles are found parking for prolonged period, penalty will be sought according to the directives of transport director he further said around 50 vehicles disobeying rules were seized by transport department and traffic police more than 11 lakh rupees have been collected as fine from vehicles disobeying rules from january till august this year besides more than two lakh rupees have been collected as fine in the month of september Hanadi, Karakana, a quay driver's each other, Gre, a dubu, Hiber, Matang the D, a quay Hojinba, Natura Tangsen Booker Kitabuk, Natana, Hiber, Rule Singzi, Paking the Jam with the relation bar, Queen Queena, Idol Fucking, which and Buggy Habitsi, Labour Targadi, Matang the Penalty, Pile Luna, Guide of Farga, Pile on the Tibikitabosi, Makatana, Tangsen Laganiana, I know Transporter, Amazi, Guari owners, drivers. Because last warning we transport director ki hukum jathang matunge na order ki matunge na ay na hai ba apna mazhi mein hamde thamzari. Zonal level students science seminar 2018 was held today at Zonal Education Office Kuyatong on the topic Industrial Revolution 4.0. Are we prepared? The science seminar was organized by Zonal Education Officer Zone 1 in Far West for students from class 8 to 10. Altogether, 14 participants took part in the seminar. ZTO Zone 1 Sucheta Kumukcham and the headmaster of Thangmaiban Kuyatong Tombisana High School, K. Sonamani, presided the seminar. Two-day science and arts exhibition from September 14 to 15 began at St. Joseph's Higher Secondary School, Sangai Pro. Commissioner of Higher Education S. H. Dilip, Principal of the School, Father Reverend Victor, teaching and non-teaching staffs and students attended the inaugural function of the exhibition. Cultural programs were presented by the students of the schools. Various science and arts related projects were showcased by students of different classes. Commissioner H. Dilip said students should not only focus on studies but must also try to come up with inventive ideas for the society. It is important that the teachers impart knowledge to the students in all aspects to bring out excellent students by applying different methods of education. He appreciated the students for coming up with different innovative ideas that the elders could learn from the students. This is the Manipur city, this is the Apoi Nayamna, stakeholders, educationists, me amna. Worried, worried, was see only marks oriented, parikha oriented, madhugi, all kinds of means is in awa. Adu maakta da sa kidagara hai na ta wo da school lakpa ba, Saint Joseph kumbana. Students in the other interests, I wish the go with the gi, say the gi, dance the gi, adu the gi, science, agriculture, Manipuri culture, I put no honor in the same. I was young and I was a little bit of a school. I was a school that was widespread. I was a Saturday enthusiasm. I was a talent. I was It was phenomenal. Very, very impressive. And before we continue with the national news, let's have a short break. Goods and Services Tax GST da register da wiraba taxpayer kuding makna matam chana GSTR 3B monthly return file da wiyo August hagi GSTR 3B return file da wagi aroi banumiti lak liba September gitang kundan sale chang da return file ta unabagi da makta Old Guwahati High Court Building North AOC Department gi facilitation center da lakpi duna return file da wiyo Kangan Jeriba Department of Texas Government of Manipur 
Now coming to the national news, Telugu Desam Party TDP has called for protest across Andhra Pradesh and Telangana after a court in Dharmabad in Nandet district of Maharashtra issued an arrest warrant against Andhra Chief Minister N. Chandra Babu Naidu and 13 others in connection with a case dating back to July 2010. Judicial Magistrate First Class N.R. Gaj B.A. directed the police to arrest all the accused and produce them in court by September 21. TDP leaders said the arrest warrant reeks of political vendetta by BJP. This is nothing but a conspiracy by the BJP to intimidate TDP. BJP is afraid of the alliance that TDP is forming in Telangana and the arrest warrant which had expired has been renewed to intimidate us, Telangana TDP President L. Ramana said. Naidu son and State Information Technology Minister and Lokesh said his father and the others TDP leaders would appear in court. He fought to protect the interests of Telangana. He even refused to seek bail when he was arrested, Lokesh said. The Dharmabad court had issued the arrest warrant on July 5, which was to be executed by August 16. The warrant was reissued for September 21 after a Nandat resident moved court, saying no action was taken on the arrest warrant. Besides, Naidu's State Water Resources Minister Devineni Uma Maheshwara Rao, Social Welfare Minister N. Anand Babu and former MLA G. Kamalakar, who subsequently joined TRS, were among those booked in the case. Now, before we wind up, a quick glance at the headlines. Health Minister L. Jayanta Kumar exerts on fulfilling responsibility towards one's profession but not just to think of salary. And as six persons arrested in Tharajam lynching case, condemnations continue to pour in against the incident. That's the end of the news bulletin. We'll be back again with more news at 7 p.m. See you then.